Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about how to write research reviews and <clears throat> this will be an introduction and we will discuss about what are the step by step guide which we have to follow so that we can do a better research review. So this will be done based on the knowledge base from different resources. So what is literature review? Can you think about it? This is the basic element which is required for every type of research writing. So this is designed to tell you something about what is literature review, why you might need to write one and how to do so. Audience question. So you can ask what do you know about the literature review? What does it involve? So many of you might have these type of questions in your mind which will be solved after the completion of this lecture. So a literature review is a surveys scholarly sources on a specific topic. So when we select some topic and do some research of scholarly articles, books, journal, conference papers, then it will be a literature review. It provides an overview of the current knowledge on the topic that we are doing research, point out the gaps in the existing research and appears as a part of dissertation or research paper in the section of the introduction that we write. A literature review is survey of scholarly sources on a specific topic. So we have to be specific while doing a literature review. The purpose of the literature review is to demonstrate familiarity with the topic and scholarly context. Develop a theoretical framework in methodology so that you can use in your research or your thesis. Position your approach in a relation to other researcher and so how your research fits in. So why you do need why we need to write a literature review? There are few main reasons that we have discussed. The literature will allow us to demonstrate familiarity with your topic and the scholarly literature concerning it, engagement with the work and how we can improve the existing body of the knowledge. Conducting a literature review. There are five steps involved which we have to follow one by one then only we will do a better literature review. So step one is search for relevant literature. The first step is to search for relevant literature. For that, we need to have a clearly defined topic, a research problem. In the case of a longer piece of research, you will already have defined this by the time you come to write your literature review. That is when you are discussing about the thesis or research work which are you are doing with collaboration with institutional resources then this topic will be already discussed there and they will have a better understanding of how what is your topic what is your research problem and then we have to start the doing this literature review defining all research problem is a major problem which we need to understand if the literature review is a stand-alone assignment, developing a clearly defined focus will be your first step. This involves narrowing down your topic to a clearly defined research problem and associated question. And this can be done through the effective use of the social media, social media and body image, social media and body image among generation X. So then if we are researching this type of problems, then our research question can be what is the impact of social media on the body image among generation X. So these are the types of question which we can frame based on the keywords or the key problems that we are trying to resolve in our research paper. Identifying keyword. So when we define some research problem then we have to identify what will be the keywords. Once you have defined your research problem in question you can come up with a list of relevant keywords to use in your research. Try to think comprehensively. Come up with the synonyms and variants of the key terms.
to make sure you don't miss anything related to your topic so social media within the social media there can be facebook instagram twitter snapchat tiktok and others in the body image we can have synonyms like self perception self esteem mental health and the generation x can be such as teenager adolescent youth so sometimes some researcher might use the word youth problems some might use teenagers so we have to search different keywords so that we can find all the relevant research paper related to our topic so where do we start your research your university library catalog is a major source where we can do the research then comes the google scholar which is the world largest scholarly database j store is another very good store of the scholarly publication where you can find the old publication also it's biscos project muse where you can find humanity and social sciences medline where you can find life sciences and biomedicine related articles eco line light where you can find economics related papers in spec where you can find is physics engineering and computer science related so there are wide and variety of the research database to search for relevant studies web of science is one of the most popular among them science direct is another popular database of the scholarly publication scopus is a great source for finding the relevant research papers research journals searching efficiently so there are a few tricks that you can use to search efficiently the first is using boolean operation these are capitalized terms like and or not in your sources that allow you to exclude or require certain terms in the result like use of boolean operations read abstract of the research paper check bibliography for more sources if you find a good research paper then its bibliography can be a great source to find more of the related research papers not recurring citations so that those which are cited more times then it will be more effective and more useful resource for you then step 2 is evaluate and select the sources that you have searched next you need to evaluate your sources and decide which one are most relevant to include for your research so once you got some sources what do you think are the most important question to ask about each sources for evaluation like which research paper has used which type of tools and techniques which research papers are related directly to your topic or which paper are related indirectly to the paper questions to ask about sources what question is addressed in the research paper what are the key concept that is discussed in the research paper what are the key theories and methods that they have used what are the results and conclusions that they have drawn how does it relates to other studies and your studies as well what are the key insights and arguments presented in the research paper what are the strength and weakness of the research so these questions will help you understand the relevance of the research paper that you are studying for your literature review taking notes is a great art and trick for improving your learning from the research paper at this stage there is lot of information to take in taking effective note is important copying down a specific quotes that might want to integrate into a review it can be particularly useful to quote definitions or key concepts given by different authors in different research papers summaries of the key points need to be noted sources information that we have to keep is the author name title of the research paper journal name year of the publication page number so that while writing your research paper we can cite them properly and add the bibliographic information properly in the <coughs> sources 
Step 3 is identifying themes, debates and gaps. Now we want to start thinking about what your relevance evaluation of the relevant sources. You are looking for identifiable trends in the literature, theme that come up often, ongoing debate and gap in the research. So what to look for? When you encounter disagreement between different scholars, consider whether the issue they di disagree are seems relevant or use more relevant further investigation. Trends in the literature over time, key themes that are being discussed, the debates and disagreement, pivotal publications of this topic and what are the research gap. This will be very important because when you find the good research gap only then you can do a better research to fill the gap examples of trends and gap much research focus on young women increasing interest in the visual aspect of the social media lack of research on platforms like instagram and snapchat this is a gap that you can fill for example, let's say we are reviewing the literature on the relationship between social media and body image issue. We notice that the trends are much research area is focused on the young women. Then the step 4 is outline your structure. A literature review follows the basic structure of the most academic writing. It has an introduction, a body and a conclusion. There are many different ways to organize your discussion in your resources of the body. It explains a few of the most common approaches that we can take to write the research review. Common structure is arranged by chronological order like organizing by time. Thematic organized research review by themes. Methodological like organized by different methods that are being adopted. Theoretical approach organized by theoretical approach adopted by different literature review. A chronological approach involves tracing the development of your topic over time. Try to avoid just listing studies in a chronological order, rather, identify trends and turning points and explain how different studies fit into the timeline. Step 5 Write your literature review. Now you are ready to start writing up your literature review because you have already collected a lot of research paper based on the search terms that you have used searching on a scholarly database. Format of a research review Introduction Establishing the purpose Body Analyzing the literature and conclusion Summarizing the key findings that you have found in the research papers. Your introduction establishes the purpose of the review, the body directly discusses the literature and the conclusion summarizes the key findings of the literature review that you are going to do or you have done. The introduction stand alone literature review provide background on the topic, describe the objective of the literature review, dissertation and thesis, they reiterate the central problem, briefly summarize the scholarly context. In a standalone literature review, your introduction has a broad goal of providing background on the topic, understanding and defining the objective of the literature review. While in the dissertation on thesis case, it will re-establish the central problem that you are going to discuss in your thesis. The body of the research paper or the thesis or dissertation may be divided into different sections analyze the and interpret critically evaluate the quotes or saying of the different authors or findings of the different authors synthesize different sources how different sources have provided increasing incremental knowledge of the topic use well structured paragraphs cite your sources properly do in write always write in line citation as well as the sources at the bottom of the research paper the structure of the body will determine what you are decided in step 4. Depending on the length of your literature review, the body may be divided into sections with their own subheadings or just into paragraphs. The conclusion 
standalone literature review discusses the overall implications, makes suggestions for the future research, while in the dissertational thesis, so how the literature review has informed your approach, state what gaps your research will address. The conclusion again looks a bit different depending on the context. In a standalone literature review, this is the end of the research paper and as such your goal here is to discuss the overall implication of your findings and study. Recommended resources is to visit our YouTube channel youtube.com slash track to training for more videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.